Okay, I'm quite shit. She knows you're doing this. Oh wait, there's people arriving, so. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so that need that. So I only have a couple days with some openings, but definitely text me. Don't be waiting around trying to email me and all that stuff. In travel mode, it's like boom, boom, boom. So text me. All right, here we go. Let's get started. I'm plugging everything in, letting you guys fill the room. And I'm sweating already, man. This is this is a rayon, maybe. It's polyester. It's not silk. If you want one that's silk, go to myfavoritegroomer.com. We make them. Food for thought, Didi. When you go to a humid area, bring your soap smock. Okay, so we're gonna do. So for Lulu, oh, we're gonna do nails first, and then she can go do her thing. Okay, so we're gonna do nails on her. We're gonna do nails on Opihi. And when I got here, she's an ankle biter. The pet parent is like, nah. See, she told me she's not gonna bite your ankles, but the whole time she like nipped my toe out, out by the car, and I was like, okay, she's gonna bite my toes, you know. And she was eyeballing my toes like they were Vienna sausages the whole time I was chit chatting with Poopy Puppy. She didn't like French medicine. <laughs> and Poopy Puppy says you should have brought some French fries for her. <laughs> so let's see how Opihi does on the table for nail trim. Mom says she's gonna stand still like a statue, but you know me with dogs and we'll see how they do because sometimes they don't do what we think they're going to do. But Pookie Puppy knows her dogs really well and uh, let's just go from there, yeah? <laughs> okay. You have another fly in here? Yeah. So there's two flies bothering her? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. I will try to get that one out. What, is it? Yeah. I'm gonna do the nail trim and then I'll put the smock back on. Okay, okay, we got some gloves here. Gloves here. Who knows why I put the gloves on? Why are you gonna wear gloves? So you don't get a splinter. I'm wearing a mask to protect my client, but also because I don't want to breathe in the hair or dander while I'm grooming, because then I've got to travel today, so it's going to be all up in my face, especially if I'm not going to shower before I leave here, even though she offered me a shower, I guess. 
She must know that I'm gonna need to take a shower before I leave. Is this charged up ready to go too? Or is that, when's the last time you charged it? Last month when I groomed them. Oh really? Yeah, I charged both batteries and that. Oh cool, ready cool. To go. I think it should be okay. And clean it. So those of you guys who shop with me, she bought this Arco Clipper wall. She bought this wall Arco Clipper and she does body work. Do you do body work? Mm -hmm. Slightly. I don't recommend it for body work because the folks that I actually use to sharpen everything and service everything, they've been doing it for 50 years and they taught me not to use this on the body. They said, you know why they always come in messed up or broken or they break fast? This one and the bravura is because they're using them in the wrong areas. And I said, well, go ahead, tell me what's up with them. He said that this is not made for body work. This is made for face, feet, sanitary. This is the wall Arco, which is kind of cool because it has the battery aspect. The wall bravura looks identical. It does not have a battery. So why is it beneficial? Well, if, you, if your battery is dead, then you can always change your battery. If you just have one that doesn't have a battery, you always have to charge it. And you ever have that phone like mine where it just constantly dies on you? Well, it doesn't have a battery anymore that I can take out. So I have to keep it on a charger. So eventually it's going to be completely dead unless it's just hanging out on a charger 24 seven. So if you have a battery, you can always get another battery, right? But if you have a charged one, you're eventually going to, it's going to die. It's eventually going to just completely die and you're never going to use that clipper again unless it's plugged in. So the Rivera has a plug in. You cannot change the battery and the Arco has a battery. Now I sell both because there's some times where companies now are really having a hard time delivering product, which means it might take six months for Andis to finish out the five speed clippers on the pink color. I'm serious. So same thing with this. During the last two years, what we have found is that they'll focus on one product, one color, and I would go there to buy my product and they would only have Arcos or they would only have Bravuras and they would sell out fast or because they sell across the country, right? So I started carrying Arco because I was like, this is smarter. But guess what? Sometimes they're having a minimal amount of batteries to buy. That sucks. So that's why I always say in my listing on myfavoritegroomer.com, buy the extra battery if I have it in stock so that you don't have to worry about buying an extra battery a year from now because it might not be in stock for a minute, like, whoa. So I'm gonna actually use this a little bit and ask her a couple questions because she does this when I'm not here. And I know she's texted me some questions, so I wanna make sure I cover some of those questions but not take too long because my devices in this heat and this, heat, in this humidity will, will burn out faster. So I'll try to cover some stuff, you know? There's always so much to teach and so much to do, but I don't wanna take up her time too much too. Love you guys. Thanks for writing. I'll try to catch up later on the writing and the comments, but please know I really value your commenting, your likes, your shares, and help me grow here in Hawaii. All right. So I've, she's got that charged up. She said she charged it a month ago, so the ba both batteries are charged up. You know I love my five-speed. It's the fastest clipper uh, movement on the RPMs for the blade, so I brought that. I brought a brush and a comb, which I'm looking. I don't really think I'll need the brush. This is her brush, she got the small one. The larger the brush, the more area you cover. So I recommend the large, but the small will do it. You're just gonna have to do more strokes. I brought my aggressive face tool, not for this room, but I do have an aggressive pit bull that I'm doing a nail trim on, and I'm glad I brought like my large muzzle. This one, and I brought my smock for my shirt, and I brought my smock pants which obviously right now is too hot to even put those suckers on. And then if you happen to end up working with aggressive dogs, I brought bubble tip scissors, okay? And that's kind of, I brought my Zoom Groom and a large nail clipper and a small nail clipper. And I want to say outside of blades and a cone head and one small blender, that's all I got. I look at it like this. If you can groom a dog with a pair of clippers, you're good. So I've taught you over the years how to use your clippers only on haircuts. Like, so if you don't bring scissors, you don't travel with all that stuff. And I actually brought this table too. And my groom loop with a groom loop cover. So if you are traveling and you want to do the same thing, pack lightly, grab the most important things, always bring a muzzle, always bring a cone head so you can finish the job. And 
want to say that's it. So very minimal stuff, you know what I mean? Okay. Lulu, OPE, we're doing OPE first. So will OPE just let me pick her up then? Uh -huh. she gonna, she's gonna be like, no, she's fine. Okay, come on OPE. Come on, come on, now you don't want nothing to do with me because you see the grooming table? I see. She's walking so slow, whereas earlier, she was totally trying to, you know, do, you know what I mean. She's trying to get at me. See, I'm glad I did that because this is already right here. We had a conversation. Did you? Do you think it even helped? Oh, yeah. The conversation? Oh, yeah. Can I um, talk to you, because since I'm doing this real quick, can I ask you some questions online? Ready? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Do you have a bra on? Okay, how do we look here? There you go. Hey, Pookie Puppy! <laughs> so, Pookie Puppy, how long have you been watching me? Nine years. Nine years? Well, nine years, but my subscription thing is totally wrong. <laughs> Ugh. Why me? I like the instruction. I also liked the way you handle um, aggressive dogs, senior dogs. That that really that really got to me because I had a senior dog that was you know sick, and, and it took a little more patience to do what little grooming I could do, but. Um, and the aggressive ones, hell, nobody wants to touch those. I mean, you know. Although this little chica might seem aggressive, but no. That's just her pretense. You know, you gotta act like the chihuahua. But. You gotta act like the chihuahua? She gotta act like the chihuahua. But yeah, and I like the way you, you tutor. You showed what needed to be done, how it needed to be done. And then if anybody had questions, you answered them. You, you even called them up. <laughs> Who does that? You know, so communication, with your skills, girl. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> I love you back. Is it pretty cool I'm in your house right now? I'm going to keep you. <laughs> I heard I had a room back there. You sure did? <laughs> you know, when I met Betty, it was the same way. Oh, really? How many years with she... Betty? A long time with Betty. You saw it. Yep. You saw it unfold. So when I met Betty in Florida, his family right away. You she know, welcomed me right away. Because you're not just a groomer. You're not just a groomer. The friendships you develop and the closeness in sharing lives with each other, that's the key. Because, you know, our pets are our lives, but you also include people. And we'll, we'll share things with each other we may not even share with anybody else, you know? So, yeah. What rumor does that? You're not just a rumor. <laughs> How many one-hour conversations or more have we had, you know? A lot. Especially in the beginning. Especially with the things I've gone through, you've gone through. A lot. And the time difference, girl, you'd be up to 3 a.m. You know, it's a good thing you gain a lot then because you'd stay up real late which would be kind of early for me, so I wasn't losing sleep, but... <laughs> yeah, a lot. So if I'm working that much and I'm gaming at night live as well and all that good stuff, I would probably say, you would probably say, are you getting any sleep? Yeah. I, I think, think you he, texted me that. I don't think you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have tears I in my you, eyes. I think you rest. Yeah. But I don't think you sleep. <laughs> Would you say it's you see me rest while I work? Like I'm here, I'm resting a little bit, but I am working. You, 
go within the neutral zone of yourself, your energy. You know, but you gotta because you're high energy. You get more stuff done than oh, I don't know any human that does it. No. Yeah, because we just closed a real estate deal too, right? <laughs> Two? <laughs> yeah, baby. If you need a plumber, I got one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. gosh. We like cold showers. <laughs> <laughs> Pookie Puppy, you brought tears to my eyes. I'm so happy that you're a fan of mine and to be able to be here to offer this grooming. I'm giving this grooming to you to save you some money, but also just to be here in your home and when I'm gone, you can always remember me. Always. And I thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pookie. No. Don't bite my ankles! She said this is a trip. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys love this kind of stuff. You see, it makes me happy to help people. <laughs> and to be here on the island. I grew up on Okinawa, Japan, and I'm just so blessed to be able to do what I do and love, love doing, love, love, love doing what I do. So hope you enjoy. Smash that like button, hit the share, and let's get going, okay? Okay, I think she kind of did kind of stop looking at my feet a little bit. You know, I don't trust her at all right now, but okay. But to me first. Perfect. Oh. Okay, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's see. This will slip off, okay? So we'll do this, but you can take pictures if you want, you know? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> You frozen? So that's just, you know, this is a groom loop cover. I invented that recently. We'll be mass producing them soon. We are working on them actually different sizes. This is not the size for her, but this is the one I bought too. Um, <laughs> she's looking at me like, so I got the pink thing going around her neck uh, looped into it. It's a 24 inch groom loop. Now they, uh, Pookie Puppy said she only gets her nails dremeled, but I'm actually gonna be honest with you. I don't, I think dremeling is an a easy, fast way to not hit the vein. So I like to do the nail trim first. So let's do that and then I'll touch them up with the dremel. And I actually want, I'm calling it a dremel. Dremel is a business name and yes it is, a dremel light. You got this from me, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Myfavoritegroomer.com, baby. Oh, while I'm talking about this, just charge this with its own charger. It's a pain in the butt. Don't try to charge it with some random cheap charger. Only charge it like 24 hours when you first get it, like I tell you to do everything, charge your device 24 hours without touching it before you use it, including your cell phones. And then when you use this to charge it only when it's dead. Do not leave it on a charger 24 seven. Don't do none of that. None of, none of your equipment should be left on a charger 24 seven. Don't do that, including your phones. So she jumps a lot. I can see the vein on some of these. And some of them, you don't have to go. That's why the Dremel is great because if you're worried about hitting the vein, you would have just topped, tipped it like that. I'm doing a lift up because on small dogs, their knees are very fragile. And she is six, I think. Six, five or six. six. That's good. That's good. That's good. There's not a lot to take off, so don't push it. She's also letting me know, like, hey, you're right there. But I already knew that, I can see. That's a Dremel one. Tip that one. Tip, 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 tip. Let me see. Tip, 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 tip. So I have some marker nail polish on my website now. And I'm trying to play around with a little bit of that because the doodles, I mean, they really need some really cute stuff. My female doodle, she could, man, we're making everything. I was never foo-foo, but 
I can see now why some folks want to do that. So you can get some nail polish at myfavoritegroomer.com. Pookie's getting some nail polish. She decided to do white first, so she's about to reevaluate the nails. She's gonna do white first and then paint them whatever color so they kind of more stand out. So you could do that too. Because you can see the red here. You can't see it because it's not strong enough. But if you do just the red on dark nails, this might be maybe hard to see. So food for thought. Order the red, order the white, paint them white, let it dry, paint them red, and then it'll be like much brighter. Just like how you dye hair. Alright, so now we're gonna do the Dremel. Why the Dremel? Like literally the Dremel brand. Why? In my opinion, don't get a device that you can only do nails with, you know, like the nails only thing. The Dremel, you can now change the head. You can change the head and like freaking cut wood, design something, bring out the artist side of you, use it as a drill if you just change the heads. That's what I like to do is use my equipment in many ways. Don't just get something you can only do nails with. It's got the cover on and all that stuff. This you'll be able to use anywhere in your house with the right heads. And it comes with a pack of heads, right? MyFavoriteGroomer.com. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to tip up some of these. They're not that bad. I actually prefer the bullet with the bullet head so it's direct. This is really wide so it covers the pad and everything. Try So you're going to try to avoid hitting the pad, you know what I mean? I think you're good. I'll, I can work through this, Pookie. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. I can work through this, but I prefer the bullet head. I sell those singulars like a couple dollars. Yeah, is there a smaller one? No, yeah, I'll just do this one. But when you do this other one, like this big full pad, this huge pad round one, you wanna make sure you do not hit the pad and see how I'm spreading it open, it's so huge. Yeah. If you get the bullet one, you go directly on the nail and just move on. And the bullet one is like the tip of a bullet. You can go underneath and chip away. Sometimes your dog will have a bunch of dry, flaky stuff going on. You can chip away all that. See, that one is really close to the vein. If I keep going, it'll just hit the, hit the vein. We don't want to do that. But Pookie said, Opihi likes the Dremel more than anything. And if you don't Dremel, she cuts her up. So depending on the age of your skin, that starts to happen. And maybe your own medications too, like I remember some of my clients telling me they're on blood thinners. That really messes up the skin elasticity. And if you're young and you don't know what that is, look it up. Try your best to go through your life and not get on blood thinners. I mean, some of you have to do it, but no joke. Once I believe someone told me that the biggest mistake they did was get on blood thinners instead of like something like losing weight or something like that. And they said after the blood thinners, it's never the same. Like what? You can all, if you want Pookie, you can read out the comments. I can kind of answer as I go. So I, cause it'll be too hot for me to cover it all later. So we're done dribbling like completely, but I'm here. So I got my zoom groom brush. This is exactly why I brought it for this girl. Now, let me just say one thing here. Um, the Dremel has a lithium battery in it. So if you're going to travel with a lithium battery, you need to have that in your carry on. The Zoom Groom brush is great for shedding dogs, labs, labs, German Shepherds, Chihuahuas. See all that? Can you see all the hair flying around? There's a lot. Do you see it? It's a lot of hair. And another great tool that I didn't, I don't think I brought was my Furminator. It's really easy to chip the teeth, so I try not to bring too many tools again. But if I had the Furminator, I would do it a couple times, strokes here maybe 20 strokes with it, but only do the Furminator once a month. So she did turn into a statue. Cookie Bubby was right. You never can't tell, right? You know how many dogs I've groomed that did not do the statue thing? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do the brush here. I'm gonna brush her line brush, just like she had a lot of hair. Cause I'm about to put her on the ground and I want to make sure she doesn't make it too much of a big mess. 
even though Pookie like cleared this whole living room for me. I still want to value her time cleaning. It's true. It's true. That's the way I think. I'm OCD. I'm always gonna clean. Oh, so it doesn't matter? <laughs> I'll find something to clean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And make sure if you're gonna go somewhere and groom, my deodorant smells good. <laughs> and I'm not a, usually a deodorant user. I, I usually don't have to wear deodorant, believe it or not. Do you have to wear a deodorant? Like, I feel like Asians sometimes don't have to wear deodorant. Like, something happens. Am I right? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Anybody relate? Can anybody relate? Since she ordered a comb from me, too, I'm going to use the comb here just, to, just because. I'm just going to come through, get all that hair I just kind of brushed off. Is the hair? What are you doing? You're good? No, I was going to get the, I think I have a table sweeper. Oh, yeah. Get, go ahead. Get a table sweeper. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can look for it. That's good. We're done here. Okay, I'm going to take all this off. How's everyone doing out there? Thanks for plugging in. Hit that like button. I'm in Hawaii right now. If you want to get a groom, be sure to go to my website, get my number, and text me. Okay. Don't look at my toenails. Don't look. <laughs> she is, man. She looks at them, but she wasn't. I was just joking. I'm kind of joking. I'm ex exaggerating. It's a brand new table, so it's the only thing is is their hair, so it's cool. Just brush it off like that. Come on. Come on, Lulu. Come on, Lulu. Come on, Lulu. Come on. Lulu. Come on, Lulu. Yeah, it's okay. I just use my Zoom room. It's fine. Yeah. Can I use your cell phone to do? Give you put it on your phone the before and after. that works too. But at least you'll have it on your cell phone, you know? Luke, you come over here. You notice the lighting difference, right? Luke. Right here. Do it right here and then get her to look right here. Luke. Luke. Good, good, good. Good? You said good? You did your little tail wagging. Did she do the tail wagging? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, so Lulu is five years old, so they're really close in age. Whoa, that's tough. That's a tough one, you guys. If you're going to get dogs around the same age, I'm going to tell you right now. What? She, she's nodding her head. If you get dogs around the same age, sometimes when it's time to go, they go together, okay? Just mentally prepare your mind and body for that, okay? Honestly. And you gotta have plenty of time to train because you get one trained and the other one might take a year. <laughs> Potty training. Oh, um, really? Well, you finish one, then you got another one. Okay, so... Summer cut? Yes, short as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna do a seven reverse. Why the 10 is short, but the seven reverse is a little bit shorter than that. She likes naked. So what do you do when you go to, where you go now? What, what is it, 10 down? They, do you know what they do? They do 10. 10 down, so I'm about to show you how to go shorter than the 10 without going to the 30. Now some people have a poodle or standard poodle and they shave their faces like, some people do it with the 40, I don't do that. Some people do it with the 15, some people do it with the 30. These are the blade numbers. 30 is really short. So 
I use a 10 down or a 7 reverse. So now, if you look at some of my 10 blade videos, you can compare. It'll be just a, it'll, I call it, it's going to tighten it up more doing a 7 reverse. And I say that, but I hope I have a 7. <laughs> I keep my hand on the dog right now. Okay, so I brought two sevens. I'm lucky. I brought two sevens, a five, and a ten, and another ten, and another ten, and I didn't bring a 40, which we can use the Arco for that, so that's kind of cool. There's always so much to bring when you're traveling grooming, so I got a ten blade on here. To save time, we can do sanitary and stuff, but she's sitting, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw, throw myself at the haircut. So, I'll just show you real quick. This is a 10 down. <laughs> okay. You guys see what's happening here? So sweet, so sweet. Okay. See? Stop. Okay, a uh, template. I'm gonna go template down just to show you. Okay, right? You can kind of see that. So hair is going that way. There's not a fan here. You can, but you can angle that a little bit so I can kind of contain it. So you can kind of see it's about that much hair off, right? So no offense, I was like, I looked at her and I said, you gonna, you wanna do a haircut here? You're like, you really wanna do a haircut? There's not a lot going on. She said, yes, we wanna shave, shave, shave. So this is a 10 down. The reason why I would do seven reverse is to take it down just a little shorter. So she doesn't have to come back in 30 days. Not that she's coming anywhere I came here. So this, if I do seven reverse, we're definitely gonna be Two, to two months, she could probably wait, two months. I'm gonna go right over that 10 blade spot. Look, I'm taking off just, right, a little bit more. A little bit more than what the 10 blade can do, okay? So when I say it was gonna tighten it up more, it really got tighter, didn't it? Okay, here we go. You guys can throw a timer on there for me. How long that haircut will really take. You want to move quickly. Your blade's going to get hot. I know she's a cavalier breed, but Lulu is very uncomfortable hot. Hot, she really? She gets hot. Okay, so on this, okay, so on this, Arco, you've got the five-in-one blade, so you can, and this pops off really freaking easy. If you just, don't, it's going to pop off, fly off, and break on the floor. You can... You can resharpen these if you send this blade to me. Go to myfavoritegroomer.com. We can re help you resharpen them and sharpen your scissors. Just go to myfavoritegroomer.com, type in sharpen or type in servicing, and you can get those links. But the 501 can be, it still can be sharpened, okay? But if you break it, that's a whole different thing. If you break and chip the teeth, that's a whole different thing. So if I'm too careful, it's gonna pop off and just fly somewhere, okay? We don't want it to fly somewhere. Again, if on the, when you order it, I say order an extra battery and an extra blade because if they run out, you're out of there. If you drop it, it's, you're done. You better hope you have another clipper. So if she was gonna do the haircut here, um, I'm looking at, I'm gonna move this down. It goes like 40 all the way up to 10. It's five blades in one, five in one blade. So I'm moving it all the way to the 10, okay? Let's see what that looks like coming down. And again, I don't recommend doing it on the body. It's not, the motor is not made for body work. It's just not. So when you keep messing up your clipper, that's why. You're using it on the wrong places. Too much tough jobs, you need a plug-in or a really good different clipper. So I'm gonna come down here. I'm going slow because this actually cuts tighter sometimes. 
Look how many swipes I have to take just to kind of catch it up to the other side. This is not designed for body cutting, okay? I'm not gonna shave a husky with this, all right? Sorry. I'll be here all day. Look at her, she's laying down. She's like, come on. This, you can hear the motor power too. It's like, brrr, versus my five speed. I am like, brrr, it's like really cutting grass hard, you know what I mean? Like that grass cutter that's like $5,000 worth, big deal, big difference. Okay, so I'm gonna ditch this. I just wanted to show you. You can do it, you can do it, but it ain't gonna last a long time. It's not gonna last a, lo a long time. I'm not using the groom, groom loop cover. This is just, we'll just keep this loose because she's doing pretty good. We just don't want her flying off the table without me being able to grab her up. A dog that flies off the table can hit their chin on the ground and crack it. So don't let him fly off the table, okay? Seven reverse, let's get back to it so we can move quicker. Look at that, boom, was that, no offense, I like the Arco, I like the Bravura for face, feet, sanitary only. But was it doing that, the power? No. We're here, we're sweating, it's hot. I like to go fast. I don't like to have the dogs in the salon a long time. So same thing here, I don't wanna be grooming her for like three hours, no, no, no. Teaching takes time too. So the, the more I stop and teach you guys stuff, I have to stop, you know what I'm saying? So that, imagine if I wasn't talking at all, not teaching you anything, I would just be done in 40 minutes. And right now I'm gonna let her lay down. That's why we have a, that's why I invented the dog up stand because I could actually put it under there, but I did not travel with any. Yeah, so I'm gonna let her lay down until I get to a point where I'm like, I really, I can't do a good job unless she's standing. So I'm gonna get, let her chill because I got a, I got a lot of, you know, straight stretches here. But I'm also pulling the skin taut. If I just roll over the wrinkles, the wrinkles can go under my seven blade, no joke. Is it Chunky Monkey? It's a chunky Monkey. Oh, I think she looks pretty good. You don't go around saying like, oh, you should lose one pound. I mean, oh, she looks pretty good. <laughs> This is, be careful here. 10 blade on the tummy. We're just coming around that knee right there. What do you want to do with the tail? Um, I'm going to switch out my blade. I want the top part. I, I, don't, I don't like all the... Here, I see it kind of where they did that, so come down there. Well, actually, I do that. Oh, you do that? Yeah. Oh, so they, oh yeah, they don't listen all the way there, do they? When I do a sanitary, I'll, I'll go with that nub. Okay. To the brown coloring on her tail part. Is that good? That's good right there, right? I see the donations. I really do. Thank you so much for your donations. Thank you for your donations. I see what you're saying, Pookie. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your donations. Two dogs in a van adventure. And then there's one more. Was that MP? Yeah. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your donation, MP. To my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! Lulu, you really, this is really, really, you're chilling during this groom, girl. You're like, definitely chilling during this groom. I got Dee Dee all to myself. Oh. Yeah. I came back with the 10 blade down the tail because she's laying yeah. down and reverse would be hard to do. Yeah. So I'm fading it with the 10. I'll let you decide when I'm done, when I get her standing, if that's short enough, okay? Yeah. So that was a 10 blade. Go back to your seven, the cool one. When our hair is long, you can't even see how it is, but it's really? like a big brown one. I'm pushing that hair over like that because I know she's got a fan going. I'm trying to keep myself clean. No, no, no. I have to tell them what I'm doing so they understand why. <laughs> what I told her to do was throw out a sheet, but instead she moved all her furniture. If you are grooming in someone's house, throw out a sheet. Actually, I would carry my own. Throw out a sheet and then just fold it all, pack up all your stuff, bring it outside and then fold the sheet up last so that you're leaving less of a mess.
And then you see me with my trash, like I always try to keep it clean as I go as best as I can anyway, so that's just habit. Form some good habits in the beginning, because if you don't, then you have bad habits through your career. <sighs> Seven reverse, seven blade reverse. Five speed, I, I don't hardly ever change the speed that I'm going, because I like to move quickly. If I had a two speed or whatever, it would just, it would still do the job, it would just, RPMs would be a little lower, that's all. It's like a car, you know, you can get there really fast with a Tesla, or you can take your time with the Corvette. <laughs> no. Right, Tesla being the fastest car on earth right now. So Corvette is going to take a tiny bit longer. Same thing, still a great powerful motor, but just a little difference. That needs to be all straightened out. You don't want to run into any wrinkles. Check your heat. I could probably do a couple more swipes and I need to change. And then also depends on how you're holding your blade. I'm really good about holding just the tip of the teeth on the skin, not the whole blade. You can use your spray, but I brought two sevens, so that's awesome. I don't have to use my spray. She does have coolant though. She did order that. Thanks for supporting me by ordering at myfavoritegroomer.com. I appreciate you. Yahtzee, what's up you guys? What's up Yahtzee? And I know who's watching over there. What's up baby girls? Back there with the 10, but I can see some stuff right there. I can grab it with the 7. Come right here. I love coming right here with the 7. Really get into that little dimple right there. These fine hairs are everywhere, believe it or not. You may not see it, but they are flying everywhere. You know your dogs, when your dogs get that really short haircut, how they behave. Pookie said she doesn't like it when she's really thick. Don't let someone else tell you what to do with your stuff, your life, your kids, your family, your dogs. Don't be letting people tell you what to do that don't have any say in your life, okay? Just block it out of your mind. You live your life with your dogs and your family and all that how you need to and let them live there. Sometimes people just overstep some boundaries, tell you what to do, how to live your life, how to cut your hair, how to grow, how to speak, how to act. You just gotta learn your boundaries and cut them off. Or stop them right there, don't let it get in your head. Like, oh, you want me to only eat fish? Oh no, I'll see you later, man. I'm going to the fish buffet right now. Oh, you only want me to stay home. You don't want me to travel. You don't want me to go do anything. Oh, okay, see you later. I'm on my way to Hawaii right now. Or you don't look like you but then it might die from Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay, so normally I would shave all this. I would shave it all. I can take it? Yeah. I'm gonna take the face. She gets some. Um, 
she gets fucking uh, hair sticking up from her nose to the top of her head. Other groomer never shaves her head. But and I the do. other groomer that you actually still go to, right? Yeah, I, but I do. She never shaves the head, you have to come yeah. home and do it. Yeah. So if you're paying for a groom, would you want to come home and really finish up the groom? No, I, I get upset at my barber when I'm like, I have to come home and fix something. I'm like, I actually paid you, you know, to help me not have to do that. And I kind of get irritated because I have to stop, get all hairy, change it, clean it, fix it, da 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 da. When really, us, if we're, if we're doing whatever service we're doing, if we enjoy doing that service, we should listen to our client. Oh, you want it shorter? Yes, I'm gonna fix it right now, I'm gonna do it shorter. Oh, you want it longer? Okay, next time we'll leave it longer or let's not do it too short. Let's see how you want it the first time. Oh, you, is there anything I could do different? Yes, shave her head. Okay, let me get her back on the table. I'll shave her head down for you. Make sure you're communicating with your client, especially if you're doing it for money. If it pisses you off that someone says, I want it shorter, then maybe you should not be charging because then you're just really doing the haircut you want, but it's not your dog. That's not what they're paying you to do. They're not paying you to do what you want. They're paying you to do the job they don't know how to do. I think if I was 19, I wasn't 19 groomer. I was in the Air Force. So if I was 19, 20, 22, 23, where my mind is not fully grown, and someone's like, the groom's done, right? The bath is done, bath is done everything's done, and we're ready to go. I got the next client coming in, right? This is this happening, I'm in a hurry. And the client's like, oh, you know, like, I, I want the tail a little shorter. And I'm like, F. <laughs> if I was 20, I would be like, F. I don't want to do it. I'm like, it'll be extra money. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Just do it right the first time and no one's going to tell you what to do, right? No one's going to stop you and make you change what you just did. But if you didn't get the, if you didn't get all the clarity of how that haircut should have looked, now you should fix it. Then you have to say, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm gonna be late for just two minutes. Let me fix this tail and then we'll move on. So I'm telling you how to do it right now, but if you're young and your mind isn't fully grown because it's still growing until you're 40 and 50, yes, your mind is not fully grown in your 20s, okay? If you're still young and your mind hasn't evolved, just fake it till you make it. Just take everything I'm saying and say, I'll try to do that. You know, I don't wanna do that, but I'll try to do that. That's excellent customer service. And if you're hearing this and you're tipping, you can tip $20 because they listened and they love you and they did what you asked, you know? And if they don't tip, make sure you raise your prices up so that you get what you want out of it. So if I'm in, not here, this is, this is free. But if I'm in Hawaii, I'm gonna tell you how much it is because I know my worth. Know your worth. If you don't know your worth and when you leave, you're pissed that you didn't get a tip, then you don't know your worth. Fix your worth, and then if they end up tipping, you are more excited, but you're not needing a tip because you know your worth. Worth comes with experience. So don't go out there and be like, this is $300 and I only have months experience. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what I'm talking about. Seven blade reverse still. We're done here. I'm going to do your head. I want her on the table, not on the floor. I want the hair to go all over the floor, so I'm trying to get her. <laughs> it is flying around, but I'm being aware of it. So we're gonna go down, seven reverse, all the way over the, through the head. She's happy. What? Yeah. That's what you want? Yes. You never get it? No. Yeah, seven reverse down the head. Skip the ears for now, just don't go near the ears yet. Okay, 10 blade up here. We're gonna do seven here. 10 blade up there. We'll come back with the 10. 10 blade to fade here. I'm just gonna do that so there's not like a huge line. All the whiskers too? We'll see, we'll see. If, if you didn't know the answer to that, we'll see. I don't need to take the whiskers. The whiskers been long, right? They always leave the whiskers? Yeah. Okay. But when you cut, they poke you. Yeah, they will. Wrong. So I'll try to leave those alone. But we'll see because once this is pretty short, you'll be like, yeah. We'll see. See how that hair's flying down there? I'm trying to trying to make it not so bad. She had long antennas like that would go right into her eye. Right. 
Really? You had to cut them? Yeah, I, I plucked them. Pluck them? I plucked them. Yeah, I, pluck, I had to pluck. I had to pluck. I had to pluck one of the sakis. I was like, we're getting that sucker out of there. Yeah. We are getting it out of there. It's freaking a big needle. Yeah, because it was poking her eyes. Feet, feet short, okay? Yes. Why am I asking? Because before, if I take it and she didn't want it, I can't put it back on. <laughs> it's over. Keeping cavalier feet. I worked with a veterinarian technician for a couple years and she had cavaliers and she loved them like she did not touch them. Exactly. So the feet were like, no, she left them long and bushy and messy and da da da. I was like, wow, I could, I could not do that. Couldn't do that. And then sleep with your dog? No way. That's what they do, right? Yeah. Why is that? It's, what was the purpose? It's. Until you have mud in Texas and it's like, what? We're not leaving that on. I'm bathing you every night. That tickle right there? Let me change my play. So I came out the other day, right, with you guys on YouTube, but I actually got to scope and I got bit by mosquitoes like crazy, okay? <laughs> so I, I reevaluated, I was like, I've I've groomed in Guam. And I got so bit by mosquitoes in Guam, I was so miserable while I was grooming this puppy Shih Tzu that I learned, like, don't do that. So I said, I got bit a lot, so we have to reevaluate. So that's why she prepped me this, this location in her home. So make sure you, you know that about mosquitoes when you travel to humid areas to groom. Okay, let's come up here. You don't love that. That's fine. We'll do a 10 down on that. Excuse me, whammy. Put that ear down. Put the trash in front. Try not to get these um, whiskers right, here. Right All these? All the whiskers on top of the eyebrows? Yeah. That's okay. 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 I'm gonna come back with the ten blade. I'm gonna get some of that longy stuff. Okay, that's better. So right here, just kind of seeing where this ear is versus that ear, that kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to take, give this one a break a minute. Okay, 
going down right there to blend the ear but not really take off too much ear hair because when you do that the hair here if it's supposed to be long it's going to take forever to grow back so don't do that if you don't have to my habit is to turn off my clipper while i'm working to keep it off and uh, less heat generating so learn to do that for yourself you scared of the cord she's really this is super tight isn't it Ooh. Look at you, girl. <laughs> okay, let's get our template on and take off that groom loop. That's kind of in my way at this point. Right, let's, just, let's just take off the groom loop cover. Almost, but not 100% yet, okay? There we go. There we go. There we go. You guys are good there. All right, let's check everything over with the template now. Really here? Down in here? Real softly in that area, real soft and light. Just fade it out, blend it in. Soft here too, I'm trying not to leave a line, but I'm leaving the rest of the whiskers in the front, so I kind of don't want a line there. It's real soft and then down, and then hard.
because you're not looking at me, right? So I can get right in there. So good. That's nice and cleaned up now, right? Close the eye. The light just changed. Okay, that's good. Template. We're going to clean off the inside of the ears. I take as much inside as you can. I'm smiling. See if this is too much. Can you guys see that a little bit? Is that gonna work for you? There's a flap right there, don't cut it. Skimming. This is not ear hair in the ear canal. This is ear hair just causing humidity in the ear. So taking that down is essential. There's a flap right there, don't cut it. Skim, skim. thumb in there. Is that better? Yeah. Put your thumb in there. Your other dog, she's on your lap, just out. So cute. Look at her other dog. Look. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for coming out. Subscribe, like, and share. Okay. All right, let's check our heat. We're good. So let's go ahead and do the tummy here. Nice and easy, no lines. We're using a template at this point because we did the face, so just keep that in mind. This is a template. And I call it the shortest, safest blade. When you start doing reverse, you have to know how to really do a clipper cut well before you start doing reverse. 
Yeah, the groomer I go to does not do the first. Right. Like it's like what? The, they feel like water. It's so soft. Coming down? Yeah. Right. Sometimes it could be like that groomer did at one time and hit the skin you know, grabbed up a mole and cut it, and they're like, oh, I'm not doing that again. So you never know why. I remember when someone taught me to do the reverse, they said, they're not going to just teach anyone that's grooming. They're like, how long have you been grooming? You know, like, and they would tell me, it's not safe, the safest way to groom in reverse, because you really have to be paying attention twice as much as if you were going to go down. You know what I mean? Especially with skin flesh. Right, right. right. You're not going to just start, you sh I mean, you can do anything, but most people don't start reverse. <laughs> start learning how to groom in reverse. They start grooming first and then add in other specialties. with vacate I'm working and vacation on the side <laughs> and tens. Okay, we're almost done here. We gotta do the feet. I guess we got a little bit longer. I'm gonna check your guys' temperature <laughs> and then we'll go from there. I'm doing a ten blade down the legs. legs look how one is really hairy and one is not and so that's a 10 blade and then the other one is not shaved yet not shaved 10 blade right and right now I'm using my 32 inch table I sell it at myfavoritegroomer.com but this is why you can see me leaning a little bit leaning down to talk to you I would rise this up I'm 5'4 so I would want to rise it up. And if you're doing a doodle or a big dog, you want the 36 inch table that we sell. You would, you would not have to rise it up if you're 5'4", doing a big dog only on the 36 inch table. Lifting her up means she's not gonna pick up her feet. See, 
see if that changes anything. See? Yeah, so it didn't suck the suck the hair that way. If you're a groomer and you have at least three, four years experience, I would say you have to be able to do a dog start to finish by yourself and you don't nick more than twice a year or not at all, then give me a call if you want to come work for me. You can email me through finding me at myfavoritegroomer.com. First, we're going to get you into Texas and then we see how long you stay and then we can get you into doing some other places. This is pretty cool, you know. I'm thinking, why Pookie Puppy? You know, why Pookie Puppy? Why MP? Buffy's on my list, but why? I mean, we're talking about the, top, the biggest fans I have, supporting, donating, sending me cards, gifts, love. You know, they became family, you know. All right, I wasn't trying to keep anything from you. If you really want to see the butt action, we're going to do it together. So what we did here was we went out, out, up, 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 down, 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 all that stuff. Okay, so this is nice, clean. Down here, I came after a minute, came back, spread this open. Get in here really good. Get up in there like all this stuff. Get that really good, it's kind of chunky monkey. When you're washing your dogs, you gotta really wash here too, just like your female parts. You don't wanna get soap up in there either. They do get urinary tract infections and bladder infections too. So bring that all up, push it back, kind of trim all this stuff. Don't burn it, and don't stay there too long. But clean it up, okay? You gotta spread that open to groom all that hair. And there was some chunky, little chunky stuff right there, like this stuff. You can feel it with my finger, it's chunky there. Okay, wash that really good. With the Scared to get in there with your hand, use a towel. Like I sell these baby towels, they're so cute. You just get in there, really spread it open, wash it real good, rinse it really, really, really good. You should be rinsing longer with water alone than you should be doing with the lather, so. You should go up and down. You should keep it up and down. And no one does that. So cute. Okay. YouTube, I'm going to let you guys go because the phone is saying uh, we're done. We're out of here. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. Don't forget, support us. Come out there. Sign up on the e email list. And we will see you on the next state that we go to. And check us out, myfavoritegroomer.com. Love you guys. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for your donations. We'll see you next time. Bye.